some of the major problems that face uh, these children to go on the streets is poverty. Others end up uh, being sexually abused by, by relatives. Things like that, those force children to go on the streets. Our main target are the poorest kids that come from the ghettos because they face a lot of dangers. These children face uh, forced prostitution, child sacrifice, and be, um, being kidnapped and sold to people who want to get rich, who use their blood in rituals, thinking that through you doing that, they will get rich. They end up doing drugs, just thinking that it will take away their problems. And no one really cares. Even though when they run to the police, they will, they will never care. The police only works for those that have money. And in these ghettos, kids don't have money. We know that there is a child someone, somewhere, somehow, who has a dream, but they don't know where to start. They don't have anyone to, to show them the way, don't have any rules that guide them. They don't have anything to follow. They become wild kids, like the way you see wild animals. They live the way they want. It's kill or get killed. We try to take that thing out of their head that, look, you don't have to hurt your neighbor to get what to eat. We find a child, we talk to them if they would like to get off the street. We try to find out what they like most and how we can better help them by showing them love, caring for them, taking them to school, finding for them a new home where they can stay and be loved. But right now, what we can do is to teach them crafting skills because it's easy for them to learn when they are out of school so that they can earn some little money. In the future, we plan to, uh, to build our own technical school whereby we can take them through this process and they learn things like tailoring, computers, uh, do graphics. At the end of the day, when a child goes through our program, they, they discover who they are. They get confident, which helps them to move on and also face uh, the life of their own. The reason as why I started this foundation, mainly I was a victim. I was once a victim. I became a street child when I was five years old. I went through that life. Mark was a, a child I met on the streets. I think he taught me how to maneuver on the streets. Also, Mark taught me how to collect uh, old plastic bottles, which in the end we sold to get some money. He was very loving, caring, like any parent would be, but he was only a kid, like, like us. Mark was a very good kickboxer. Knew that if I, learn, if I could learn kickboxing, I would be able to defend myself. Because there are a lot of dangers that we used to face as street children. I survived child sacrifice three times. And maybe if it weren't by learning kickboxing, I would be dead by now. Through these kickboxing classes, we do teach uh, the girls and the boys how to defend themselves. They can fight for their life and also maybe survive like the way I survived. When they are learning, it's, it takes me way back when I was still a, a street child. So they're like a mirror to me. 
it means a lot to me when they're learning because I was also like them. I don't have much, but the limited resources I have, I share with them. Mark one day, I remember, he was faced by a big man called Namisi. Namisi is, 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 was one of the big guys in town, and he's a robber. He was a robber. Namis wanted to force a Mark sexually, and Mark refused, so they broke up into a fight. Mark kicked Namis badly. Namis kicked the floor about three times. And when Namis got up, he pulled out a, a knife and pierced Mark in the stomach. All the intestines got out, so Mark lay helplessly down on the floor with no one to help. When Mark died, it was as though life has ended. The person who used to show me the way had gone. It was very hurting, but I knew I had to move on. And I'm very thankful that he taught me the skills that I use today to help others. Mark also introduced me to a group of underground fighters where it used to happen that you fight each other for a certain amount of money. And in those fights, where they were very brutal. And I remember there, there was only one rule which said there are no rules. Which wasn't good, but we were all fighting for money, for money to earn a living. And the money I got there, I was able to use it for my education, make sure I become a better person. Some of the best achievements in kickboxing is that I've been able to realize who I am, to discover myself. I've come to learn that there is a better me, there is a better Isaac inside of me. There is a lion that comes out when something stands in my way. And when that lion wakes up, man, you don't want to be that lion in my way because I'll get you out of my way. <laughs>